$1,000. Then we have a parenthesis because all we're doing is filling out that formula. That one never changes. And the plus never changes. How much is your rate? What would you say your rate is? Five. Now, are you going to put 5? Why are you going to put 0 0.05? So if I say 5%, 5% is 0 0.05. Are you with me on that? If you put 5, that's going to be like 500% interest. No one's going to pay 500% interest. Right? You'd be so broke buying this car, it'd be ridiculous. Now, this is... 0 0.05, because that is your rate, rate is a percentage, you translate that to a decimal for your equation. Are you okay with that one? What is your N? N's the hard one that people get tripped up on. Usually percent is fine unless they just do 0.5. You're not going to do 0.5, you put 0 0.05. Monthly, compound monthly, this is how many times you are compounded a year. How many months are there in a year? Wow. So you're going to put a 12 here. Also, notice that your exponent is N times T. And so you're using that number twice. If you have 12 here, you're also going to have 12 here. That's your N times T. What's your T in this case? Six. Six years. Okay. How many people feel okay with filling out the formula? Now, that's all great, but you've got to be able to do the math right on your calculator. This is a calculator problem more than a math problem. Here's how you do it without having to round, because you cannot round this. If you're up, let me ask you a question. If you're in the uh, car business or banking business and you go, well, I, I don't really know how to work that right, so let's just round it. Are you going to be in that business very long? No. If you're off by a penny, you're probably going to get fired, okay, because banks don't mess around. Uh, they want to the penny accurate. So I want to the penny accurate. So you can't round any of these numbers, none of them. Are you with me? You can't really round any number. The only thing you're going to do first without doing this all in one step, I'm going to show you how to do this all in one step right now. You're going to want to know that, right? Because you want to write down a whole bunch of long numbers. This is how you do it all in one step. Besides the first one. Uh, the first one is figure out what that number is first. It, it'll usually be something pretty easy, like 12 times 6, or it'll be an integer number. It'll be a whole number. 12 times 6, 12 times 72. 72? So you're going to write down 72. Now, follow me carefully. Here's how you do this all in one step. Just listen to what I'm, I'm going to talk about. You're going from the inside out. We're going to do this a little bit different than how it's written. First thing you're going to do, you're going to do this one. So on your calculator, plug in 0 0.05. You got it? Divide by 12. Press equals. Add 1. So plus 1. That's you right here right now. Press equals. You should have one point. Zero something. Mm -hmm. zero, zero, four. zero, zero, four. You should have 1.004. Do you have that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, find your exponent button, say, to the 72nd power. That's why you need a calculator. To the 72nd power. So, to the 72. Did you get that? Mm -hmm. Press equals. How much? 0.34. Anybody else have 0.34? To the second power. To the 72nd power. 70 seconds. So to the exponent, 72. Should be 1 something. 1.34 something. You got that? Now after that, multiply by 12,000. Press times 12,000, then press equals. And that will give you the amount that you're owed all in one step. If you didn't catch up the first time, watch that video again or come and see me after class and I'll show you how to use your calculator. How much is it? Point what? Is that rounded correctly? Okay. You need it to the penny accurate. Now, this is what this implies, though. This is not a realistic example because when you have a, a car loan, you usually pay some each month, right? So, I mean, you're, you're not going to owe this at the end of six years. This is how much you would owe if you didn't pay anything and they said, you don't owe us a dime. Just wait for six years and pay it all off right then. Okay. That's how like the furniture stores work uh, when they say, you don't owe us anything, no interest, no payments for four years. Then at the end of four years, they go, now you owe us the money. And you go, my, my couch is a piece of crap now. I don't want to pay you five grand for my couch. It sucks. And they go, sorry. Yeah, that's how they work. Uh, car, car companies usually don't work like that. They say, you owe us a little bit each month. 
That way you don't just default at the very end and say, I'm not paying you a dime. Ha ha, take the car back. It sucks now. So we're not going to do that. How many people understand our, our idea here? Now, the only th other thing I've got to show you with this section is this is the thing. Everything can change, but this will change the value of your, your amount. What if I said now compounded daily or weekly? Let's do daily. If I do daily, what does our N change to? Nothing else would change. Now, if you want to do that real quick, why don't somebody, somebody do that? I'll write down what, the, what weekly and semi-annually mean for you. Uh, do that real quick and find out if this is much different, okay? So do the same operation that you did. Don't, of course, you're not plugging in 72. Now you're going to plug in 365 times 6. Anybody get it? Yep. Should be sixteen thousand, like two hundred something. Almost. What is it? It's, um, sixteen one ninety seven. One ninety seven. Almost there. That would, wait a second. I want you to think about this for a minute. Okay, look at the board with me. This is compounded. This is compounded twelve times a year, right? That means that only once a month do you get the interest tacked on for your payment. This is compounded every single day of the year. Is it much different? No, it's not. It's, made, it's, it's less than $10. Okay, $10 difference after six years. So is it the compounding that actually makes you the money? No. Or charges you the money? No, the biggest thing is the year, well, of course the years, okay, and the interest rate. If the interest rate changes, that changes how much you owe a lot. But if, you, if your bank goes, hey, we're giving you interest every single day, that, it's not that great, okay? It, it's not going to be a whole lot different than compounded monthly. It's, it's not going to be all that much extra. Have we understood what we talked about today? Good. You're giving enough for a big neck. 